What's going on, guys? As you know, there are some changes to security operations center level one in TriHackMe. And today we will be doing the unattended challenge and later in the upcoming videos, we will continue with the rest of the challenges. All right, in the unattended challenge, we can see from the description that it's a Windows forensics challenge. Our client has a newly hired employee who saw a suspicious looking janitor exiting his office as he was about to return from lunch. I want you to investigate if there was user activity while the user was away between 12.05 p.m. to 12.45 p.m. on the 19th of November, 2022. Here we are given a disk image to investigate along with the needed forensics tools found in these paths. Remember in Windows Forensics, we give special attention to timestamps as they give the answers to the when, what, and who. Additionally, it's always recommended to make a list of the artifacts that you wish to collect during your investigation. All right, task three, initial investigations reveal that someone accessed the user's computer during the previously specified time frame. Whoever this someone is, it is evident they already know what to search for. The question, what file type was searched for using the search bar in Windows Explorer? So here we are investigating the search activity performed by the intruder. We will need to use the Registry Explorer tool for this purpose. We can navigate to the path that contains the entuser.dat, which stores user profile settings from Windows Registry. We can choose this as an input and let Registry Explorer analyze the given registry. To find the search strings in the search bar, we are gonna to need to follow this path to find the word wheel query. Then we can have a look at the values shown and choose data interpreter to take a look at the details. It's evident and clear in both cases that the file type along with another keywords can be seen clearly here in the strings section to give us the answers. So here, the intruder used the string continental and also searched for a PDF file. All right, next question. What top secret keyword was searched for using the search bar in Windows Explorer. Again, in the same view, we can take a look at the other entry to find the keyword used in the search in the strings section. Our answers here is continental. Okay, in the next section, we will look into the internet activity. The question, what is the name of the downloaded file to the downloads folder? When we want to investigate web and file system activity, we can use the popular tool Autopsy. Feel free to go through the prompts to create a new case, then go ahead and specify logical files as the data source for Autopsy to process. Next, we can import the complete file system. In our case, it's the folder C here. Then we will need to focus the processing to only process the recent activity so that we save our investigation time. Once Autopsy finished the analysis, we can select Web History and look for the downloaded files. We see here there are files downloaded by two users. The first one is Administrator. We will need to focus on the other user, that is THM Fedora. There are many files shown here. We will look for signs of downloading an executable file. And as you can see, there is only one which happens to be the answer we are looking for. Okay, next question. When was the file from the previous question downloaded? The answer can be found by looking at the properties of the downloaded file. We can easily spot the time when the file was downloaded. Next question. Thanks to the previously downloaded file, a PNG file was opened. When was this file opened? All right, here we are back to investigation the opened files. This can be achieved by using the Registry Explorer and locating the available bookmarks tab. Under recent documents, we can see the file types that were opened. We highlight PNG, and easily the timestamp can be found. Okay, in the next section, we are investigating signs of data exfiltration. The question is, a text file was created in the desktop folder. How many times was this file opened? So here we are looking into finding the created and modified time of files. To find these timestamps, we need to investigate the jump lists. In Windows Forensics, jump lists are used to access recently opened files, documents, and applications, along with the ability to extract when was the file last modified and accessed. JLACMD is a command line tool that can be used for exactly this purpose. We provide the directory that contains the files we want to investigate and let the tool do its magic. This is the main repository of this tool where we can find examples of using this tool to investigate jump lists. 
All right. After opening the tool using the command line, we can use the option D to specify the directory and then we execute the tool. Scrolling through the output, we can see this entry highlighting the text file launch code, along with other useful information such as the timestamps and how many times the files was opened or accessed. From here, we can highlight and copy the answers. Okay, next question. The contents of the file were exfiltrated to pastebin.com. What is the generated URL of the exfiltrated data? Here we are investigating web activity, therefore autopsy is perfect for this scenario. Remember that we need to look at the web activity considering the timeline that we are given earlier in the task. If we get back to autopsy, we can highlight the timeline and easily find the URL accessed using pastebin. Next question, what is the string that was copied to the pastebin URL? With the same entry we highlighted earlier, we can open the properties and in the title section, we can mark the string that was copied into the pastebin URL. All right, that was all of it. Overall, the challenge is good Windows forensics practice. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Cheers.